what is your expectation from the union budget i think um, given the mood of the country uh, given the mood that uh, the entire country across all the sectors um, is hoping for reform and uh, hoping for the injection of new thought process in the way that the country is going to run over the next 4 5 years mm -hmm. my view and my expectation is that this is going to be a reform led budget for healthcare delivery and for healthcare per se in the country we need to define a new agenda we need to create a new vision of uh, a national healthcare agenda for this country which should see the execution over the next 5 years uh, from a budget perspective at least the beginning of creating the health sector uh, with an india industry status and and allowing a lot of reforms to happen basically because you you know the government goes ahead and gives industry status to the healthcare sector right so as per you what should be the components of the budget i think the and the components of the budget number one should be an enabling environment uh, an enabling environment from the point of view that we have a huge demand supply gap in this country for healthcare infrastructure until and unless we do not give some kind of impetus for healthcare infrastructure to be set up not necessarily only from a tier 3 tier 4 uh, uh, cities but even for the larger metros we need a new reform process around enablement of healthcare infrastructure creation the second most important one is we have been talking a lot about aims like institutions everywhere there is a huge talent shortage in this country both on the clinical side and on the paraclinical side and i do expect that during this budget there will be a reform process in the way that medical education and paramedical education is seen so that we can get the required talent for the country which then backed by good infrastructure creation will become a huge enabler for the average indian citizen all right at present what are the major challenges the healthcare sector is facing and how do you think it can be overcome I think one of the big biggest challenge of the healthcare sector is the fact that uh, real estate costs are going through the roof. Uh it is becoming more and more expensive uh to create enterprises, to create infrastructure and and create uh you know every additional bed that we create today mm -hmm. costs us anywhere from 85 lakhs to 1 crore. Uh which then translates into the fact that uh you know your population out there if these are the expensive institutions which are going to get created then how are we able to deliver affordable price points to the patient population so the first one really is that how is the enablement process for the real estate to become less expensive for healthcare infrastructure creation exclusively for that the second one which also i think to my mind is a very key enabler is that even today 95% of the consumables that we use for doing procedures and in the healthcare delivery system are all imported so we are we are paying you know 60 rupees to a dollar to make these imported consumables come into the country there has to be a huge impetus that needs to get provided to indian companies which are trying to create uh, new benchmarks and new quality products particularly on the medical consumable side and the medical technology side so i also expect that there will be some level of new incentivization which will get created around these companies which are home grown indian companies but are creating new technology and new uh, and new consumables for not just the indian market but for the global market The last question here if you could tell us more about the corporate social responsibility of your organization and if you also involved in any PPP So I think um, uh, as far as CSR is concerned I think the new companies act is very clear all companies need to contribute into it and all companies need to uh, need to provide for CSR as a part of their uh, of their being you know so no company can can be there today particularly if it is profit generating and not being uh, contributing to csr so so i you know even within uh, the portfolio of companies that we have many of them are contributing back into csr so i think csr now is um, although it has been mandated through the companies act but i think that's a good starting point for the momentum around csr to pick up in the country all right and what about the private partner so the uh, i think the public part uh, we have often debated ppp in this mm -hmm. country right and ppp for healthcare delivery yeah, especially in we, the healthcare sector especially in the healthcare sector and uh, and those debates have been non conclusive because even today there is no clarity and there is no one perfect model that has been created in um, on under public private partnership for healthcare delivery and and we need that one model 
right? Because because of the center and the state and different kinds of uh, you know uh, environments within the country in different states, there is no effective PPP which is there, which has got established. Moving forward, I think as far as India is concerned, if we do not create an strong PPP model, we will not be able to create a healthier country because there is a lot of infrastructure which is sitting on the public side today, but the talent is all sitting on the private side. So we need to create a, a, a very cohesive uh, thought process around enablement of PPP. And I often say that if, you know, if we can have airports, we can have ports and we can have roads under good effective PPP structures, then we could probably, you know, if we start thinking through, we can probably have very good PPP models in healthcare delivery and we need it. So as of right now, a lot in that space too needs to come under the policy umbrella. And we need that one standardized policy across the country for effective PPP. Great, just a last question again. Uh, do you feel we would be able to meet the 280 billion projection of the healthcare sector? By 2020. Yeah, uh, so you know, I think uh, there is a lot that needs to happen within the sector. Uh, as I was saying, even during the session, that uh, we are still a hugely underpenetrated country as far as good healthcare is concerned and as far as effective healthcare is concerned. Um, a country which is about four and a half percent of a GDP spend around healthcare is coming from the private side, and the government spending is still just about one percent. There is a lot more that the government needs to do uh, in terms of increasing its spend on healthcare. And I think once the government begins to propel itself in terms of higher, uh, you know, higher generation and more capital going into the healthcare delivery side and on an overall basis ends up spending two and a half, three percent on healthcare delivery, I see no reason as to why collectively we will not be able to reach that number.